Hi, so this week's theme is bedtime stories. So I thought I would talk about the books that I read now compared to the books I read when I was little. I was basically a very nerdy kid and I used to read a lot. I mean, I still do now, but when I was younger, I read a lot. When I was tiny, when I couldn't read properly, my mum would read me books every night. I can't remember what they were about. As I got older, I used to pick up books myself. So I used to read books like this and encyclopedias. I remember a like, collection of encyclopedias. I think that's what they're called. With um, Mickey Mouse on them. Um, yeah, so I used, to, I used to read this, which has got stuff about like space, history, science, nature, culture, technology. This amazing book contains no fewer than 1,001 questions and answers with the what, when, where, how and why of everything you might need to know. What a nerd. It's just got like stuff like that. Oh, surprise, it's an elephant. But then at about 12, I don't know how long I've had this, but I got a Kindle, which is what I now read most of my stuff on. So I read YA now, mostly. Currently I'm reading Radio Silence by Alice Osman, which is very good. It's basically just about people making a podcast. It's pretty good though. You should read it if you want. Also as a kind of side note, a few weeks ago I was babysitting and a really cool bedtime story kids book that I liked reading was The Dinosaur That Pooped the Bed by Tom Fletcher. Tom Fletcher's cool. Can't really remember what bedtime stories I really liked the best when I was little. I really liked Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh was pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Tell me down in the comments what your favourite bedtime story was when you were little. And subscribe to Spare Banana Society to see lots of videos every week. I hope you enjoyed. Have a lovely week and I will see you back on here next Monday.